what is the best method to stop weeds growing in gaps so nearly a month ago i did some testing it was on the 19th of july 2024 today is the 18th of august 2024 so it's been a full entire month i did two different tests and what i did do was in these gaps i got rid of the weeds and then i added just sand in one side and just uh, and a mixture of sand and cement on the other side You'll see within a month, moss had started to grow where I put just sand in. So just sand is not going to be good. You want sand and cement. Sand and cement was brushed in the gaps. It did sink down a little bit. You can see here with the screwdriver, there's a like two or three millimeter uh, sinkage. However, that sinkage made a seal. That seal did not allow anything to grow in there. Look back at the last few videos. I made this like a three part series. So you can see what's going on. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to clean out these holes and I'm going to put in just cement. Okay, now you need to check out your local rules and area for whatever you need to do. Because apparently there's some rules about drainage and how big the square meterage is. And you need to get planning permission. Check that in one of my earlier videos. I'll include a description link so you can check that out. So I'm doing this as a test. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put some uh, cement down on one section is about well, how many bricks so two three nine ten, about 12 to 13 bricks is where i'm testing this so i'm going straight in and putting cement in on top of the block paving obviously this is going to discolor the blocks i'm prepared for that are you prepared for that are you happy for your blocks to be discolored that's up to you so personally i'm doing this as a test to see how well this performs and does this cause an issue so Earlier in this episode, I did another check where I put just uh, sand in. Before that, I did sand and cement. So I did notice a slight discoloration. However, uh, when, I, when it rained and when water was being added, it still was able to sink through. So that made me believe that, okay, the cement is not as thick. That has created a waterproof membrane over the top. I'm brushing over the, the thin cement off the blocks. However, when it's dry, I can tell the... What colour are these blocks? They are that pinky ready, light pink red blocks. They are a little bit more hazy. Now, are you, is that acceptable? You know, that's something you need to think about. For me, I don't really mind. So, if all of it's done in the same way, you won't be able to tell the difference. However, I'm doing only a little section here because these blocks are going to be lifted, remember? And I'm going to have some drainage work uh, conducted. So, I'm using this time to do an experiment just to see, because I've had a lot of comments from people asking me, and it does work it's worked for me on my block paving i might link that somewhere check that out if you just search how to stop weeds growing in blocks in garden and one of my videos should come up there somewhere uh, i've done one about six years ago and i did one two years ago and yeah uh, a lot of professional builders do comment and say that it's incorrect but it's working for me so question is going to be why are professional builders watching how to videos um, alternatively now you'll see how I brushed in the cement and left it for a little while this is another question I've had a common question how can you put dry cement in a gap without water so in the atmosphere in the bricks in the layers below these blocks there is moisture and cement being dry will naturally wick up the moisture from the ground and then start healing over a period of time now this does have a plastic membrane below it however remember the bricks are about two inches thick and when it rains, those bricks will hold a little bit of moisture in the lower part of the brick. And when something dry comes on top, the bricks and the moisture is drawn up towards that dry item, which then gets wet. So it's proven. It's working. It, it's worked here. You'll see a physical evidence of this happening for me. So in my block paving video, if you watch the entire video, you'll see the moment after a few hours, it starts getting darker. Where you'll see here. Um, this video I'm doing today, I'm just doing a quick video, nothing fancy, just to show you what's going on. And about after an hour, I went back and checked uh, just to see how dark this cement got. So I'm brushing off the excess cement away and it's gone into the gaps, which may, should make a tight seal. Um, this isn't any fancy cement, you can get a bag of cement from any builder's yard and it should work. I had some extra cement left over, so I uh, stored it in a plastic container. Um, however, remember this is going to discolor. So see here now, this is me checking back after like an hour. And you see where the lines are. They've got darker. They've got darker because they're drawing up moisture. I did not put any water on this. You can see the bricks are still dry, but just the gaps are not dry. So I'll leave this till tomorrow. I'll wash, give them a wash, and then just wash off lightly with them. 
so another question i've had is can you jet wash these you can jet wash them but don't intensively go really close to the jet wash uh, into the gaps because obviously jet wash is very powerful so even cement and sand can get broken up by that cement uh, mix of the pressure washer so what i'm doing here is giving you an idea of what you can do how you can do it and what i did this is not what you should be doing this is information purposes only and i'm showing you what i'm doing to test this have a go at it and if you want to do it it's at your own risk and if your block paving colors change then yeah that's you know that's a possibility and um, how invested are you in the color of the blocks if you have block paving is it okay to be a little bit hazy that's something you can answer personally so as part of this process i'm basically just testing this out i might do a follow-up video where depending on this because i've got a I've asked the builder to come and rip all of this up and builders being builders it's obviously you know they don't they're on a comment that you want them to come and they're saying i'll come tomorrow I'll come tomorrow so personally that's why i've ended up doing a lot of this work myself because you just can't get reliable builders uh, these days and a lot of them are cowboys so you might ask yourself why do i always go after builders but uh, this block paving was raised uh well put down by a professional builder, builder apparently and we've just not it's just been issue after issue with this so um a number of these uh, projects i'm doing myself and i've had a little experience with a few builders that built uh, an extension and that didn't go very well either so just see what you can do and if you can improve your own knowledge and do it yourself so it shouldn't be too tricky just following through and checking what can work test a small location and see if it can work if it can't have a little research there's lots of people online making videos about this just find someone you trust and someone who's showing you results if you do it like for example my block paving i did it five years ago i did an update six years later it's still perfectly fine uh, and now this block paving a uh, month and then i did a week after and i'm doing another one i might do a follow-up enough people want, want to know about what's going on but i'm happy to share this so you can see it real life what is going on and this is obviously going to be something that needs a little bit of work a little bit of time and you need to invest that yourself is basic cement i had a, a screwdriver which i was using just to get the weeds out of the gaps that grew in the sand only area uh, you can see this is just brushing over in the gaps and it's nothing too intensive or fancy just take your time if you've got a bigger location you could probably hire like a handyman or a gardener they tend to be a lot better than actual builders because builders just yeah it's very tricky at the moment especially with good weather they're probably booked out at loads of places where they're messing everything up so uh, see what you can find at them so I'll, I'll link you to another video as part of this series and check out the past few videos because you will find them interesting again this is like a quick video just to give you an update i acknowledge the last one was like 19th of july and then i did one on the uh, 26th of july and today's 18th of august so realistically this is a real life you know as it happens video of this process and i'll check this in a couple of days and might do a follow-up about how bad this looks because obviously look at that gray patch there if all of them are gray it just looks like cement 